The way this works is it, it has a, a memory chip, if you like. It's what we call volatile memory, which means that you can override it and you can also wipe that memory completely out. It allows us to record songs and store them internally. And on some of the models, it even allows us to record or sample sounds or sections of songs off an iPod, which we're going to show you how to do, and save those as internal tones in the keyboard. Now the way that the internal memory chip works is that it's powered by a battery. That battery gets its power from the power source. So if you actually disconnect power and it hasn't been plugged in for long enough to charge the internal battery, then you're going to lose the memory because it's volatile. If it wasn't volatile we couldn't record over it. We'd yet have a one hit record and be there forever so we need to be able to do that. So just bear that in mind. It's okay to turn the keyboard off at the power button because the power transform is still plugged in and that transform is actually giving like a trickle charge all the time to the keyboard and it's charging that backup memory battery. All right? But if we actually disconnect the power, after a while, sometimes not immediately, it depends on how long the thing's been plugged into power, but after a while certainly it will run down and you'll lose all the internal memory. So if you're doing stuff that's important or if you've got customers that say, you know, I want to do a lot of recording. Um, suggest one of the models with the SD card because the whole idea of that is yeah. that you can save everything you record internally onto the SD card, even the samples. Yep. You can save samples on an SD card, which is really great.